Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Alexandre Aimon. Merci pour lire ma livre, Un monde de ciel et de terre. Or in English, The World and All That It Holds. I have now used up all of my knowledge of French, so I'll continue speaking English. The book, The World and All That It Holds, is a love story between two men, two Bosnian men. One of them is a Sephardic Jew, the other one is Muslim. They traveled between Bosnia in 1914, where World War I started, and then they go east to Shanghai, uh, where their story ends, but not quite, in 1949. There's an epilogue in Jerusalem in 2001. On their journey between Sarajevo and Shanghai and Jerusalem, they never passed anything resembling a state or a society or infrastructure. It is continuous war. The worlds come apart under their feet over and over again. But what sustains them and what the book is about is the love between the two of them. The main character, Rafael Pinto, is a Sephardic Jew, a pharmacist who also studied in Vienna and strives to write poetry in German. He also speaks Ladino or Spanish, as it was called in Sarajevo, the language of Sephardi Jews who were expelled from Spain in 1492. And he speaks Bosnian, of course, his home language, that is his hometown language. There are many languages in the book, including French, that is in English, um, because Pinto is multilingual and as he passes through the world and all that it holds, he acquires many languages on the way and develops a language that he uses to speak with his adopted daughter, Rahela, whose father may or may not be his lover, Osma. The story has a, an epic structure. They pass through the world as the ancient heroes used to pass, except they're not quite heroes. They're nothings and nobodies. And their superpower, as it were, is only their ability to love under the most difficult of circumstances. I love them, these two men. They have become part of me. It took about 14 years to write this book, in the course of which I wrote a few other books and a few other scripts and started producing music. And a lot of things happened. I very much appreciate the attention and generous patience that you might apply to this book. And I hope to see you in France later this year. Merci beaucoup. A bientôt.